Every other name. Who are we talking about here? Jesus Christ. Good. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every name should bow. And every name should bow. Stop reading really why you eat Pharisee, bad habits. Mind your business, Bob. 
I think I refuse. Dad, mom, they all can't really stop me the one that I came. I tell you it's a bad habit. Carol, you heard your brother. Stop reading while eating. It's a bad habit. You can always read at your leisure when you get back from school. No oh, more, please, please, please. Let me finish the story. It's really just a page. And it's not mine. It's Rita's. I only do this and I'm supposed to do it now today. You shouldn't have done that. You know that. How many times have I told you kids never to borrow from your classmates? How many times? Okay, Carol, it's all right. I understand exactly how you feel. But that is still not enough reason to go borrow me. All right? So now will you be a very good girl. Okay, exactly what mom just said. Stop reading the book and concentrate on your food. All right. That's my girl. Yours is quite an impressive CV. Thank you very much. And I also want to tell you that the boys school set up to interview you were quite impressed by your advanced knowledge and experience in the health education. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Miss Queen, can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead, ma'am. Are you a Christian? I beg your pardon? I didn't know that was the criteria for this job. We are holding a very high morality principle in the school and we care to see that we are higher teachers who are God-fearing and principled. <laughs> then you don't have any problem with me, madam, because morality is a key word for me. Um, Ms. Queen, you are welcome on board as a staff of Ever Tomorrow Kids International School. And you'll be taking primary four and five. I would love that. That's no problem. I will have one of the teachers introduce you to your class immediately. Okay. No 
All right. So And so, children, from this passage, we're talking about humility. It reads, Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every other name. Who are we talking about here? Jesus Christ. Good. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every name should bow. And every name should bow. Tell me, I 
I'm seeing my god children. Come on. I need to give them what I want for them. No, no, no. You are not going to be them, okay? Vivian? From the way you sound, it looks like things are not slowly going on fine with you and the children in them. <sighs> it's not that. It's just, you know, the job, having to run around to struggle and stuff like kids, you know? Vivian? You can hire a nanny. Have you thought of that? A nanny? Of course you know I would never allow a stranger to bring up my kids. Oh, I see. Okay. Change of subject. But guess what? I saw Michael in South Africa. <laughs> Hello. Michael wants you to know that he's really sorry. And he wants to be back in your life. Ah! The kids! Oh! oh children! <laughs> How are you? Later. to some lady, some stranger, yesterday when I came to pick you up from school. And I remember asking you who the lady was. But you didn't give me any reply. Oh, Mom, that was not a stranger. That was our new teacher in school. Oh, really? Your new teacher? That's true, Mom. You see, the school is going to be taking us off your school education. Wow! Bob! So are you telling me someone is going to be doing some physical exercises from now on? I doubt that. But if I may ask you, what the girls feel know about the exercise? The screen is just a girl and if you ask me, I think the school should have employed a man instead. That's a lie. I think the school will do just fine, Bob. Boys don't know anything either. Hey, hey, hey. It is okay, kids. There is no need to fight over this. Yeah? And I think your school must have certified her capable to teach you guys before employing her. Well, I still say she's not. 
Mom, she doesn't even have stamina. That is why she failed before she was even introduced to us. That's a lie, Mom. Bob is being naughty. Miss Queen only fell because something tripped her. Bob, it is not good to laugh at someone when something bad happens to the person by mistake. Understood? Good. Now, kids, do your homework very fast. Because it's time to take your bath. First person to finish the homework gets a bowl of ice cream. First person, now. So, how is my favorite girl's day today? How was your day, darling? Well, nothing much. The normal routine. Going to school to pick up the kids, cooking their meal, making sure they do their homework before they go to bed. Nothing special, nothing fantastic, just the normal thing. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything is fine, perfect. I don't know, but I think I sense the note of dissatisfaction in your statement. I see, I am. Um, it's not as if I'm complaining, okay? But I just miss the quick solitude we used to have, you know, before the children came. I mean, I thought you were content with the way things are. Yeah. But right now you, you're complaining and it worries me. What, what's the problem? Honey, you, you don't get it at all. You don't. It's not as if I'm not content, okay? But I just want more. I just want something more. Like, you know, blanking everybody. Being somewhere, just just you and I, you know, just the two of us. Is that too much to ask? If I understand you, like the second honeymoon. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> or is it too much to ask? No, no. So why are you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not why you're like this. Okay, I'm sorry. It's certainly not too much to ask, okay, but <laughs> how did that idea pop up in your head? How? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry I laughed. Okay? I'm sorry. Honey, I understand exactly how this can be. I know it's not easy. You're having to take the kids to school, come back, make their food, prepare dinner and all. Yeah, I know it can be a very boring routine, but I'm sorry. Okay? As it is, there is almost nothing we can do about it because school is still in session. But I promise, once the kids go on holidays, I'll do something about that. Yeah, that's my baby. You can do better than that now. No. <laughs> Didn't I miss you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so tell me, how well, was the rest of your day with the kids? What's mm, new? Well, um, nothing much. Just um, the kids said um, they were introduced to a new physical education teacher. No, oh, really? Huh? So this new teacher was the person in matter of woman. <laughs> a woman. You son, Bob, doesn't like her. <laughs> I really don't know why. You know how woke I get sometimes. Yeah, you'll get, some, you'll get used to it. Some that. flimsy excuses. Yeah, that's why he's a child. He would uh, get used to her. Whose turn is it to pray for us today? I don't know. Alright, Carol. Do you some prayer then? In Jesus' name. Mm. In the name of Jesus, I have licking of glory, Lord. We thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking up, Lord. Father, Lord, our God, we thank you for the gift of life. Father, Lord, our God, thank you for everything you've done for us in our lives, Lord. May the name of Jesus, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen
Father, that God will cover our going out and our coming in the blood of Jesus. Mm. I cover our education and the parents' business with the blood of Jesus. Mm. I don't know that God, that it shall happen to us in Jesus' name. Mm. I don't know, grant us a journey whenever we're going to in the name of Jesus. Mm. In Jesus' name, we and surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord for a Michael walked into the office to say, I'm sorry. Can you believe it? Vivian, I understand how you feel. I'm sorry. But what did you say to him? What is I walked him out of the office, of course. You did? Of no, course. you didn't, Vivian. <laughs> Michael lost the right to call I and my kids his family. Okay? Where was he all this while when we needed him anyway? with another woman that is why and i will never forgive michael for that the father of your children vivian look i'm a father who is not just biological okay it has to do with the physical presence were you not here when he abandoned us were you not i will never forgive michael he has no right to my father vivian he said he's sorry. Please. Remember, to err is human and to forgive is divine. I can't believe you sit there and tell me that, Abba. I can't believe you sit there and preach that gospel to me. Michael left me for another woman, for a prostitute. So it took him a whole year to realize that he loves me? No. I will never forgive my God. Oh, 
Okay, what is it? You've been signing all night. What is it? It's Sunday evening, sir. I'm bored. How can you be bored in the company of your wife? You know, I didn't. What do you mean exactly? Why don't we just go out to a club or something? Have some fun. <laughs> a club? Uh, but baby, you know I've never been a club person. Besides, the kids are upstairs. Who is going to take care of them, man? Sir, there's always a first time for everything. And we could just, as for the kids, we could just call your cousin please, to take care of them while we're away. No, baby. All I want to do is spend some quiet time with you. There you go again. What do you mean, there I go again? You always want to tie me to you, right? You never let me do the things I love you anymore. How can you say that? Because it's true. I've got to go. And where do you think you're going to? to find some excitement. Listen, you can't just time it to your side like a laptop, okay? Because I'll never be that. Now, I gotta come. Do you know my car keys are? So, I'm now boring to you?
my secretary allowed you to my office? My secretary allowed you in. Lillian! Lillian! Come here. Did you allow this man into my office? You're embarrassing. Did you allow him into my office? My husband. Did I tell you I was married? Didn't you know that I was a single mother? You are going to pay for this. Alright? Get out of my office now! Get a hold of myself. I'm embarrassing you. Michael, don't make me laugh, alright? Alright. Just listen to me, okay? Just take a moment and listen to me. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry I left you and the kids and I came back to see if I can make it. If I can work it out with you, okay? Don't insult me, Michael, alright? As you can see, I don't need you. And I'm so sure that the kids don't need you. So please get your. Get out of my office now. Vivian, just listen to me. Let's talk about this. Get out of my office, Michael, before I call the security. Vivian, let's please. Let's just talk. Michael, get out of my office! Okay, you don't want to go? Wait. Swallowed my pride, Amber. <laughs> I begged my girl. I begged him not to leave us. <laughs> but no, no, no. He trampled upon my love and hurt me. He hurt me, Amber, and I'll never forgive him. I know. No, I'm, I'm not crying. Why is my mom crying? Is this something we did? No, it's nothing, my angel. I can never be angry with you and your brother, okay? You two are my life. You're the reason why I'm leaving, okay? Oh, love you so much. I can never be angry. Where is your brother? Honey? Honey, can you please hurry up? You don't want us running late for service now, do you? I'm so sorry, guys. You know, Bob stained one leg of his sneakers, so I just had to change it. It's right. okay. Yeah, yeah, we are. Come on, sweetie. That's all right, it's a bit too fast. We're late.
generation, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, you are worthy to be great. Wow, children, you have yourselves. Now say that. Wow, children, I am very, very proud of you. And I know your parents will be proud of you also on our Thanksgiving Day. Now, concerning our poem on our Thanksgiving Day, Miss Carol, okay, okay. We are going to read Psalm 121 on our Thanksgiving Day. But Sister Parents, I do not have a new life. You let your parents get you one. I am counting on your daddy. Please don't disappoint me, right? I want to see Parents. All right, children, let's sing our, our Thanksgiving song once more. One, two, go! Thank you, Jesus, the owner of my soul. Alpha and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In all generation, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Oh my God, guess what? What is it? Mr. Flores said that I'm going to be presenting a poem on the children's Thanksgiving Day coming up in three weeks. Wow. <laughs> do you know that means you have a lot of practicing to do that? I know that. I, I told Mr. Flores that I want to disappoint her. Of course you want. But mom, I need a little Bible. The Bible? So what happened to the Bible I got for you the other time? That's the children's story Bible. I need a little Bible of my own. Can carry around the practice. So, what exactly are you practicing? Some one to one, that. that That's what I'll be presenting on Children's Thanksgiving Day. Oh, I see. Interesting. So, you're going to be presenting some one to one as a poem on Thanksgiving Day, huh? That's what I've been trying to tell you since that. Maybe Dad and I are really strong. Okay. Good morning, Mrs. Anuka. Hello, good morning, Miss Queen. Please come in. Come in. Come in, come and have a seat. Thank you very much. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you? Hey. Uh, uh, Miss Queen, I hope you are finding your stay with us fulfilling. Oh, yes, madam, I am. As a matter of fact, you have everything in this school that I've ever needed. You can say that again. <laughs> Miss Quick, you know what? I am happy because you're happy. Now tell me, was there anything you wanted? Um, yes, as a matter of fact, I was actually going to talk to you about this. You see, I've been observing my pupils for a while now, and I found out that I did not have any form of outdoor activity. Oh, outdoor activities. Yeah. What do you mean by that? What I mean is that this student need to be taught how to defend yourself and how to survive in remote places where they don't know anybody. I see it. I I'm highly interested in it. Uh, because it's not gonna only be an adventure for the children. It will have a whole place called repetition. Exactly, madam. How do you suggest we go about it? Well, that's very simple. I'll just draw up a five days camp discussion plan. Of course, with the consent and the approval of their parents. And I'm sure the kids will have fun. Oh, that is cool. Um, I'm going to tell the secretary to write a memo. We'll to find the parents over the imminent trip. Okay. And also solicit their consent. Fine. I mean, that would be splendid, madam. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, I'll let you go in the I'll see you. Thank you. I'll see you. So here are some of the exercise equipment that I have given you examples, okay? So you would go home over the weekend and you will read properly and answer my question correctly because I will also add your attendance and also your exam to score you on the past list. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Great? Okay. I have a little something for you to take home. It's called a memo. It's a letter from your parents. I want you to take this home to get through it after you leave the school. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And guess what? 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 <laughs> ha, okay, that's right now. Well, we are going to have our first ever camping excursion. <laughs> So, with so much excitement in your heart, I want you to keep your parents convinced.
this time. Let them see this is why you should be there. Because I will be there. And everyone will be there. Love it. Don't miss it. Okay? Do everything in your power to make sure that they design it. So as you submit your as you submit your assignment, first thing on Monday morning, I want this new back. And I'll only know you give it to your parents if I see their signature on it. Okay? Yes. 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 Right. So, have a lovely weekend, y'all. Bye. 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 Good morning, Mrs. Anita. Hello. Good morning, Miss Queen. Please come in. Oh, yes, madam, I am. As a matter of fact, you have everything in this school that I've ever needed. You can say that again. <sighs> Miss Quick, you know what? I am happy because you're happy. Now tell me, was there anything you wanted? Um, yes, as a matter of fact, I was actually going to talk to you about this. You see, I've been observing my pupils for a while now, and I found out that they did not have any form of outdoor activity. Um, what do you mean by that? What I mean is that these students need to be taught how to defend themselves and how to survive in remote places where they don't know anybody. I see this one. I am highly interested in it. Uh, because it's not going to only be an adventure for the children. It will happen in place called repetition. Exactly, madam. How do you suggest we go about it? Well, that's very simple. I'll just drop a five days camp discussion plan. Okay. Of course, with the consent and the approval of their parents. And I'm sure the kids will have fun. Oh, my Miss Queen. Um, I'm going to tell the secretary to write a memo. We'll find the parents over the imminent trip. Okay. And also, also see their consent. Fine. I mean, that would be splendid, Madam. Thank you very much. So here are some of the exercise equipment that I have given you examples. Okay? So you would go home over the weekend and you would read properly and answer my question directly because I would also add your attendance and also your exam to score you on the past list. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Great. Okay. I have a list of something for you to take home. It's called a memo. It's a letter from your parents. I want you to take this home to them straight after you leave the school. Yes, yes, it's great. And guess what? 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 Ha, <laughs> ah, okay, if it's quite now. Well, we are going to have our first ever camping excursion. Open my gains, my blood. Why can I be resulted in to stop him? No, that's not what I'm doing. Dad, Dad, where are you? Get him 
into the house. What are you doing there? In my house, in my property. They are also my kids. You know that. <laughs> A biological lady. But you lost that right to hold of yours. The day you left me for that adulterous secretary of yours. Listen, Vivian, you know it's been over between me and Sylvia a very long time ago. Since then, I've been trying to get back with you, but you just won't let me. Can't you forgive that? No, Michael. I will never forgive you for that. Okay. Okay. But then you leave me no choice. I'm going to fight for custody of my kids. And I'll do everything in my power to take them away from you. I promise you that. You wouldn't die. Oh, you'd be surprised then. But what I can do if you fight me. And I have no choice than to take them far, far away from you, where you would never in your life see them again. You would dare see them. <laughs> Let me borrow your English. You would be surprised at what I would do. For my kids. Now, would you get out of my house before I call the police on you? Out, Michael! Nah, this don't do my kids. Some music reality show. Oh. Oh. So what are the kids? God, what a relief. God, the upstairs having this siesta. Couldn't you even make a guess why the whole house is just quiet? Honestly, I, I, you took those words out yeah. of my mouth. Because I was wondering, those kids can actually make you lose your mind. Oh. Running around the house, screaming down the entire building. Oh. Say that again. Yeah, and, and, and especially Bob. Mm. Yeah, he took after the mom. Huh? Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. No, 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 he took after you. You're the stubborn one, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> no, just give me a break. I'm not just in the mom. You're, yeah. you're the stubborn one. So that our son took after you. Okay? Admit it. Okay. Now that both of us are alone, the kids are upstairs. To ourselves. Oh. Come on, darling, you can't get something you don't think. Hell no. no. Hell no. I'm not, I am no. not. Hell, I said no. Come on, darling. No. Come on. No. 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 There's absolutely no need to front here, darling, because Whatever. I know you're thinking what I'm thinking. Whatever. Not to come on. You are. Come on. Why are you going to stop being stingy with yourself? <laughs> this then is a no go area. For now. Why are you going to stop being stingy with yourself, darling? Something very important I want us to talk about. Okay. I'm listening. Concern and the kids. You know, there's this um, five day excursion trip that the school is organizing for the kids. Um, 
I really want them to grow. Five days. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a pitchy idea, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having in mind what I intend to do to you. In those five days. <laughs> okay, okay, on, on, on a more serious note. Um, where are they going exactly and who's taking them? Um, well, they're going to Ibadan, to be precise. And the school is organizing the whole thing. All we just have to do is just sign a memo, take it back to the school, and we're good. And just, come on, you know, good. we have the whole house to ourselves. We could even have a second honeymoon. Okay, and I suppose this trip is for free? Hell no. Not even going. <laughs> no, honestly, I, I, I would have hoped that it's for free. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I um, I have no reservations about this one. I do. Oh okay. You know, honey, please. I'm just begging on their behalf. Okay. Let's just allow them have this one. Honey, it's five days away from home. In some strange land with, with some strangers. This, this one worries me. They are going with the teachers. With the teachers, they are safe. Trust me on this one. Yeah, I know technically you wouldn't want to call their teachers strangers, but... Trust me on this. The kids need this one. Let's not deny them this, okay? Aside from our own interests, the kids want to go. Let's allow them. Is it a yes? Ah, uh, come on now, don't blackmail me. Yes, <laughs> please don't. Please don't blackmail me. Would you please? <laughs> Can you just stop me? Would you please? <laughs> okay, okay. Yes! <laughs> thank you. No, 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 no. Don't, don't go thank you. Thank you. Okay, don't go thank you. This, all right? I want to make you a change. Come out my hands! Oh, you, okay? Ow! Vivian, yeah, yeah. I don't like the looks on your face. You said Michael followed you to the house, and what did he say to you? That he was gonna take my kids away from me if I don't give him access to them. My God, how could he say such a thing? Because he is an insensitive fool, that's why. For God knows that I would not allow my girl anywhere close to my kids. Never! Vivian, you have so much hate bringing out from inside of you. Oh, really? And if you don't watch it, it's going to happen. He left me for another woman. Do you expect me to be dancing? Do you? No, but you really need to calm down, okay? Click things easy. We need to study our work. Resolve what? There is nothing to resolve. Okay? I will never allow Michael anywhere close to my kids. They are my kids. Yeah. He has the right to his children. Are you listening to me, Amba? Look, I will do everything to protect my kids, okay? Even if it takes me to, to, to take them out of this country, I will do it. Did you just hear yourself? You're going to run away from her, sacrifice everything you have here just because of your husband. That's not the best thing to say. Really? What is the best thing then? I think you really need to sit down with Michael and sort of things. Good boy! Are you even listening to me? I will never allow my kids close to my kids! Yeah, we're going too far, Vivian. Well, I think uh, I will allow them go for the next question they're going for next week. And then whatever I uh, whatever I the reason being the reason being that that idiot would not have access to them ever in his life again. Gosh, me to the cult. I am you are, yeah. <sighs> Vivian. Ah, uh, Mrs. D.K., it's a pleasure seeing you. How can I help you? Ah, uh, no, nothing. I just came to 
appreciate the tremendous work you're putting on our kids. We only keep the promise of quality we give to our children. That's very apparent. Thank you very much. I um I received a memo about a trip that they're about embarking on. Yeah, that was a wonderful idea of um, a health and physical education teacher this morning. And um, I promise you that the trip promises to be educated. Wow, that's very nice. I um I wanted to propose that my son Derek be included in the trip. Mrs. DK, your son Derek is in Palma 5 and this program is only for Palma 5. Yeah, I know that. Um, in my opinion, he needs it, you know, as a well child. And I know he would um, stand anything in the way that I so. I just want him to have that experience. I don't know. Mm, Mrs. DK, I don't know. The plans has already been Okay, well, uh, how about if I sponsor? Madam, I appreciate your offer, but I still think we will require from your devices if your request can be possible. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Alright, thank you very much. I, uh... Yes, come in. Oh, uh, that's the lady I wanted to see. Allow mommy to sit and catch her breath. Okay? Before you crucify me. Yeah. Um, now where were we? Uh, let's see. Okay. And 
them what I can read. to divorce him. Ambassador, you ask some stupid questions sometimes. Of course! He's a bad influence to my kids and I don't want him around, right? Vivian, Vivian, you're going too far. I'm your best friend and as a Christian, I want to advise you. Build back your marriage. Don't destroy it. Think about your children. And their future. Thank you. Since you like my marriage more than me, pick the rest and leave me. I think you're being too stubborn and proud, huh? Vivian. I don't. I pray you don't get to regret it. Something. Okay. 
Until we get it right, I'm telling you. Yes, calling you.
pumps in.
Well, take that love and shove it up your head. Take that love to your adulterous secretary. We don't need you, Michael. Already? So now this is the second activity I'm going to give to you. And that is looking for your own food. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's hungry, right? I'm hungry, put up your hands. Oh, uh, okay, fine. So I want you to be in single file, just like before. I'm taller than you. Thank you. I'm taller than you. I'm taller than you. I'm taller than you. Until we get it right. I'm taller than you. Yes, calling you.
on you. Let's go. Yes, Father. Father, I want to be the one to save my people. I have taken upon me the body of the human flesh to fulfill my purpose which I have been sent to do on earth to defeat Amagadon and to defeat him I shall indeed father I already have 990 souls in prison I have ten innocent souls back there at the jungle. I shall take their souls and I shall complete the circle and I shall be home to sit in the rightful position.
Does it take you to ease yourself? You think she has gotten lost? Huh? Lost? I think she's been inside for me. I'm a good one. Yes. She's been inside for me. In the long run. Hey guys. We should be good luck. Because I intend to be on my own. Hey, we. Come on, Ellis. Are you pushing again? Go. Come on. What is a bad boy? Go, go, go. Take care of it. Stand up, man. Hey, Carl. I'll be right back. Let's go. I have to get back to the camp. Mr. Ellis, I'm getting worried. It's a very long time. It's
say it again. It's only a dream. It's not real. It's not real. Say it. It's only a dream. Fine. Wake up, girls. Wake up. Time for hard work. Stand up. Time to have our bags. Listen now, children. What we're about to do now is what they call treasure hunt game. What do I say? Treasure hunt game. Good. Now, we'll be notified that a certain treasure is sitting somewhere in this forest. This group A and this group B. Any group that finds it first will be rewarded greatly. Do you hear what I said? Yes. Now, the direction to get the treasure is really in your maps. I hope you have your map there. Yes, sir. Yes. Good. So, ladies, I want you to go out there and make me plan. Bring home that treasure. Because girls fuck. Now the treasure hunts begin. One, two, all right, boys, come on. Oh, hey, my boys. Now, Miss Green, why don't you stay here while I go look for Mr. Thompson and Mr. Mobizi? You know, they didn't come back last night. They didn't? No, they didn't. Well, I'm not aware of that. Well, then, let me be off then. Don't worry about the kids. I'll keep an eye on them as I go. to help whoever I wish to help. And now I choose you. Okay?
something really evil has happened to Cat. See? Something really evil. Oh, oh, Stop saying that. Eh? Nothing has happened to her daughter. You have to believe me. I saw it in my dream. You saw it in your dream? And whatever you saw in your dream can only be a figment of your overworked imagination. Hmm? Didn't the school say the children will be returning in two days now? Hmm? Then there's no cause for you to worry. All you need is to go to that school tomorrow, pick up our children, and have them healthy. Hmm? Come on, come. Hmm? Yes, sir, let's watch this program today. Can you see that? This reminds of those school days. I Who 
Who are you and what are you? You don't need a formal introduction, don't you? Queen of Demons, daughter of Beelzebub. You? A demon? Isn't it obvious? Look, even if you try to run, there will be no hiding place for you. But why? What have we done to you? You have done nothing! And the children have done nothing too. It's just a, a, a cause that has to take place. I'm trying to save my father's kid. I don't understand. How do you mean? Uh, Mr. is it not written in your book that whosoever believes shall be saved, and whosoever doesn't shall be condemned? Yes. What has that got to do with you, the children? It will shock you to know that I know a lot of your quotation from that book. Remember the first time we met? Yes. You fell down on your knees. What's the last thing? I knew you were bound down to his name. Yeah, yeah. And how are you? Did you and him do that? I mean, tell me, Mr. Elvis, why must my father's kingdom, the demons, and unbelievers suffer condemnation simply because we did not believe? Why must we suffer the wrath of a martyrdom while you so called Christians have internal life that is so unfair? Yes, he's the savior. Is it not written that even as Moses lifted his serpent in the wilderness, even so has the man lifted up here now? Just like Solomon offered a thousand bunch of tonight, I shall sacrifice a thousand souls just to save my king. You lie, Lord of darkness. There's nothing you will do to stop the wrath of God. It is his word, and it must surely come to pass. Do you really believe what you say? Why are you shaking? Because all of a sudden, it looks to me like my presence has suddenly made you an unbeliever. No, no, no. I bind you. Oh, just shut up! That's one thing with all of you lukewarm Christians. You never believe in me. I wonder what to call you believers in the first place. I bind you! 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 Tell me, what brings you to the school? I mean, you really paid us visit. You're right, I, I work. And my work consumes much of my time. I know, my dear. What can I do for you? Shonka, you see, I am worried. I'm worried about my husband. I'm worried about him. Why, if I may ask you? You see, I had a strange experience yesterday. And ever since then, I've been trying to reach him, but to no avail. He's uncle. Something tells me that all is no way with my husband. Come on, Miss Elvis. It has not got him to that stage. Your husband travels with two others. Probably they're experiencing a job problem. Or even low battery. No. No, you don't understand. You don't understand, Miss Uncle. I mean, it's more than that. I think you really need to send a search party into the forest. 
Because if, if it's my husband is dead, then the children are in danger. Miss Elvis, please. Nobody's dead and nobody's in danger. Why do you talk like that? I will talk like this. Because my vision has never failed me. It has never failed me. I saw him. I saw him with my two eyes. I saw him dead. And so we all died. If, if things are not done, things are not done. Just please, Miss Elvis. Please. Calm down. Calm down, Miss Elvis. Let me see what I can do about it. Okay, just give me a little time. Right, just do something. Man, girl. Hmm. Girl, you need to see what happened. You see the way I'm glowing. Huh? Tell me what you see. I'm <laughs> very sweet. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. You know, it's just the glow of love and happiness. Yeah. Yeah. So, you said the second honeymoon is a first time. I'm mm. the resources. Okay. Okay. There's no waste of time. No waste of time. Man, Richard surprised me. I really did not know that Richard still had it in him. You need to see the way he made my toes coil in ecstasy when we were doing it. Damn! No. Man, my husband, it was just the same way, you know, when we just got married. Oh my God, Richard, Richard. <laughs> close to you when we're in school. Okay. You always keep to yourself. Keeps me out of trouble. Vivi. What about my girl? What about my girl? Aren't you going to let him know the plans? <sighs> yeah. You're right. I am. Uh... I'll call him when I get to America with the kids. At least he deserves that. Okay, that's fine. Cool. And I'm sure you'll be safe, right? I don't know. I uh, forgot to tell you, he paid me a visit. He did? Wow. And what happened? Tell me. He came to plead that um, I forgive him. And uh, he still loves me, or rather, he still loves us. And uh, uh, he wants us back. But I'm just so confused. I don't even know what I'm feeling. I know you. I know you still feel something for him, right? I don't know what I feel. That's the thing. You know, one minute I hate him so much, the next minute I 
I just feel like killing him and then now I don't even know what I'm feeling. I'm sorry, I know you still love him. You know, you said if I don't give him a chance that he will disappear and never come close to us again. And I don't know how I feel about that. Because he's the father of my kids, you know. Sorry, Dan. <sighs> Dead. She killed Diana and comes it soon. The school is wicked. You saw her swallowing Mr. Evans in her mouth. I saw him in my dream, Carol. Remember, I told you, but he wouldn't believe me. I'm sorry, Bob, but I didn't believe you. <laughs> I know what we must do. But Carol, what should we do? Carol, what should we do? I want to have to do anything. I want to go on to my room. Bob. Remember what our teacher in church said we must do? We were in a bad situation. I need help. No, I don't remember. She said we must pray in Jesus' name and believe. But I don't know how to pray. Yes, Carol, I'm afraid you don't even pray at all. So what kind of prayer do you pray? We should use my children's day presentation. And pray. Perhaps God in heaven might hear us and help us. We will lift up our eyes onto the hills, for whence cometh our help. Our help cometh from the Lord. What do you expect? What do you think, darling? Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm already missing you. What do you expect? Come here. Uh -huh. mm. I'll sure be home on time, okay? okay? And um, please do not forget. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Okay, then. And please um, do not forget to be home on time. Yeah, of course. Don't worry about that. We'll be right here waiting for you. And do tell them how much I've missed them. Bye, Stephanie. I will.
funny. How are you this morning? I don't know. I just can't see. Where's my camp see? Well, it's okay. Stop crying. Huh? Listen. I'll go to the school immediately I leave here now. And I promise you I'll bring Kamsi home back for you. Huh? So I promise. Yes, I promise. Huh? Yes, I can see. Please do take care of her. Amen. You promise? Yes, I See you when I come back and watch you. Honey? You okay for me, man? Huh? See you when I come back. We've been waiting like this all through the morning. Still, there is no sign of this children. Are you sure there is nothing wrong somewhere? Mother, please. There's no cause for alarm. Maybe there was a hitch somewhere. But I assure you, there will be a war. But, madam, have you tried calling them? Where exactly do they say they are? I'm afraid I've not been able to get the details on phone. But that is to be expected since the journey took them away from civilization. Hey, where are they? Mm. Alright then. I can see we have no choice but to sit down here and wait. Please agree with the judge if you can do that. Meantime, secretary is having a dress. What could be the problem? Could it be their boss right now? What in God's name is calling them? Ms. Wonka, what am I hearing? I just got to the reception and they told me that they can't get anything from the kids. What is going on? Mrs. Dickey, please sit down. I don't want to sit down. Where are my kids? Mrs. Dickey, there must be a feasible explanation. Feasible? Is that what you call it? Well, I just pray nothing negative happens to my kids, alright? I just hope to. Mrs. Vicky, please don't say anything like that. We have to be positive. As for the children, I know that we're going to return any moment from now. Please. Well, I just hope you're right. I just hope you're right. Ms. Olga, what's this I'm here? Where are the children? Mr. Mullins, please sit down. Don't talk about this woman! I said, so where are the children? What if my daughter comes in? They're supposed to have arrived by now, so tell me what is holding them up. We've not been able to get into their minds, but I assure you, everything is under control. Oh my God! Oh God! God, what is this? I'm finished. God, what is going on? So my wife was right all along. Hey, come now! It doesn't. I'm not telling you to tell me. Come down. No, tell me. Do you know what it takes to have a child? Do you know it? And you. I want to see her, I swear to God. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with my bare hands. Please, Mr. Lawrence, calm down. Well, I just hope you're right, man. This is it. You see, I'm going to start. Drugs don't work without you eating, so please try and eat. Ah, welcome, Daddy Kamsi. Where is Kamsi? Did she come back with the boss? Honey, I. I'm afraid you know, I'm afraid this could work in our time. I didn't understand. I didn't understand. The children and their teachers are lost. <laughs> I'm 
Vivian. Hi. I'm sorry, is he a long time? Should... No, no, please come and sit down. Sit down. Michael, I need your help. Anything, tell me how I'll do it for you. It's not, it's not me. It's the kids. My kids? No. What, what, what happened to my kids? Michael, they are missing. I can't find them. What? What do you mean you can't find my kids? They're my kids too. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to sound like that. Okay, I didn't, I didn't. Tell me what happened. They went on a five days camping um, vacation in Ibadan. And it's eight days now, they're not back, and I'm, 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 I don't know anything. I don't know what is going on. You think they went on, on, on a five day cruise to, to Ibadan? Yes. They're not back yet. What's the school management saying about this? I called the school, and, and, and nobody is telling me anything. I even called the teachers that went with them. All their JSM phones are all. For God's sake, Vivian, how could you send my kids to a place that they've never been before, and, and, and you didn't even tell me about it? Oh, I'm sorry, I just knew you were gonna play me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't I don't I don't want us to fight. I'm just in shock. I don't know. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry too. I just want for my kids, I just want them back, please. Help me, please. It's alright, it's alright. I'll help you. You're my wife, I guys are my father. This is unacceptable. No, 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 no. We can't, we can't accept it. We can't accept it. We want to to do something. I know. We want to I know. We can't about the kids. No, we can't We about the kids. No, we can't accept it. We can't accept it. Where is the proprietors of this school? They are involved in the research. Parents, please, calm down. Calm down, please. There's no cause for an alarm. Did I hear you say calm down? Calm down, calm down. That is what you have been saying since morning. Yet our children are not yet to be found. What? Madam, look. All you're asking is something to hold out. Something tangible. A glimmer of hope. Something. It's, it's our children out there, you know. How do you expect us to go? We have every reason in the world to be worried. I know that, Mr. Richard. I too am worried. These children are mine, as much as they are yours. I'm very much concerned. Oh, goodness. What are you trying to tell me? That something has happened to them, is that what you're saying? Of course not, Mrs. T.K. Like I explained to you before, maybe their boss broke down. And we cannot solve any problem by standing out here till daybreak. It's, it's late. No, no, wait, wait, Miss Olga. What exactly are you driving at here? I hope you're not possibly telling us to go home when we're yet to hear news about our children's whereabouts. It's 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 exactly what I'm suggesting. Let us all go home and I'm assure you the children will arrive before they go. So that it's okay, look. As, as far as I'm concerned, it might be come out like a very difficult decision, but I think it's the best thing to do. It is not. I cannot leave this place. I'm not going anywhere. We're talking about my babies here, my babies. I know that. What are you saying? They might be out there, dead, or something lost. Are you telling me to go my kids? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't do this again. Now. Come on. Please don't do this. Don't do this. Please don't do this. Come on. Father. 
I can manipulate them. But there seems to be this very strong aura around them. I can't take their souls. Miss Green, what do you want from us? Leave us alone. Oh, you shut up, silly girl. You have been getting on my last nerves. You know that, don't you? Now give me that little silly book. No, Carol. Don't do it. Don't give it to her. Oh, really? But this is Mrs. Green. If you cannot give it to me, then why don't you sit it through all the way? No, Carol. Don't you remember the Bible? It's only protection. No. I will do no such thing. I want to read the book, and I will give it to you. Then you shall die! Me! 
I'm supposed to use their cells to complete my kingdom. No, no, I can destroy you. I will kill you. I will take your blood. Yes. Greta. Greta is he that is me, that is he that is you. In the name of Jesus, I command the thunder fire of God. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire. I release it to the forces from heaven. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be crushed forever. Be crushed forever. Be crushed forever. Be crushed Seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Amen. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid there has not been any news still on the children or the Mrs. Kubos. Well, then, that's. We all cannot stand back and then watch things out of it. Exactly, madam. In fact, I believe we should have gotten the police involved. Please, parents. Getting the police involved will only ruin the reputation of the school. I assure you, I have sent a search party into the matter of the and we shall be hearing from them soonest. How selfish can you be, Sora? Goodness! Did you hear yourself? We're talking about the lives of innocent children here, and then you stand here and talk about the reputation of your school. Please, Mr. Richard, that wasn't what I meant. You help me whatever you meant! As I'm seeing him right now, I think you know exactly what happened to him. Yes! You know! You know how that is. I am going to be my children right now. So you are the bloody Richard, Mr. Officers. Mrs. Zika, what is this? Alright. All I want to know is what happened to my kids. Mr. Zika, what is this? Madam, you are under arrest. I'm afraid we have to throw the station. Officer, move on. I'm sorry, officer. I just need to excuse me. Which of the stations are you? The Laro Police Station. Let's go. Yes. 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 So, madam, for our mistress, we need to insist that you do not love your life. That all is going to go. Please, officer. I have told you all that I know. I had no love whatsoever. Madam, don't give us that. Madam, don't give us that. From all indications from our investigation, we believe that the idea of the camping trip was yours, wasn't it? No, was it? Then there was things. Uh, I suppose. I suppose. The new teacher went away with the children. Yes, she went along with two of her trusted teachers to the camping exercise. I see. Hey, madam, we need to verify the story. Please, tell us the name of the teachers and their home addresses. We also need the address of the new teacher from our place of employment, if any, to facilitate our investigations. All right, I, I will do anything to help. These are the names of the teachers that want to help. Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Huh? Mr. Elvis. Mr. Elvis. Mr. Elvis. Huh? That's all? Okay. I'm 
sorry, officers, but I don't know this lady. Are you sure, madam? Because you see, this lady in this passport brought her reference from this school. Officer, I have been in this school for the past 10 years. And I have never laid my eyes on that lady before. Are you sure? In that case, how come she comes about the reference lady of this complaint of heaven? I don't know. She may have forged it. That is not on her, and I'm sure you will. We're coming from home. No, we saw our house. Now, bury our ground. Oh, that shall never end. Come on, that place shall be your ground. Hey, sir, do you know what I think? I think that new teacher, whoever she might be, you call herself, has an ulterior motive about this tree. All they say she just threw everyone involved in it. What do you think, sir? It's all right. When all these are over, I just pray so those children don't have to be all right. But you have to go back and report. Of course. Mr. Oka, I want to ask you for the last time. Where are those ten innocent children? Who did you sell them to? Who? Everybody! Mr. Officer, I did not send them to anyone. They went with your manager. It's just in I want to believe you that you are speaking the truth. Did you? She's lying. This woman is lying. Eh? She has done something with my kids. Take her confess. Take her confess. Don't tell her. Please, officer. I mean, no sense. It breaks my heart that the children are missing. I've given your name, the name and address of the teacher. Now we're with them. I couldn't possibly hurt my own children. Let me tell you. The officers so much for the investigation are back. And from what I've got, the particulars you gave, three of the teachers tallied with those particulars, but one has become the boss. Why? Have they checked the school that they have? Yes, they have. And none of the schools identified the photograph that you gave. They say they have not even seen her in the first place. Now let me tell you, even the address that she gave tallies with the cemetery at Victoria Island. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe this. You have been family So let me tell you, it's someone. You're so irresponsible. How could you put the responsibility of 10 innocent children into somebody that you did not even take time to take care of? You did not even about her. Officer, please, I may mean, not say it. I believe that she was the only one that suggested the coming in the first place. I'm so ashamed of you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you.
as an evil order. Now, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm coming with you, or you're not coming. What? You guys must be kidding me, Michael. You mean you're in support of Vivian Goyi? At least I'll be there to take care of her, okay? I promise. So, baby, I insist. Okay, let's go. Uh, no, no, you're not driving in that state. I do the drive, so I'm gonna go. He's taking care of the house. Megan! Musa, where are you? Musa, open the gate! Open the damn gate! Oh my god. 
God, I just pray. Oh my God. I just pray everything is okay. Let's just try that. Let's get the church together. Relax, okay? Calm down. Calm down. To God be the glory. If it were not for the Lord who was on our side, hmm. the evil one will have swallowed us all. My friend, it is unbelievable. You mean this queen is not a human being? Oh, God, this demon spirit. Who came into the world to steal the souls of innocent children for the purpose of sacrifice? Reverend, in the course of your social, were you able to find those teachers? Well, I think most of them would have been dead by now. Um, Reverend, do you know your story is unbelievable? Because there's no way we can sometimes share it. It's not a miracle. Who would believe that? What is true, officer? They are all dead. Mr. Thompson, Mr. Elvis, can't see. But, oh no, if I kill them in the screen, it's to everything. Alright. Well, thank you for being with us. No, um, that is all for good. Yeah, that's right. I'm back. And you guys are so big now, so big. Let me see. Let me look at you. Ah. I'm more so big. I'm more so big. You're so big, yeah? You want to take care of me, right? Right? I don't help you say thank you to me. Oh. <laughs>
Cause I'm my soul 